Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Had a little different project the last week or so. Um, I had this engine sitting in the garage. It was from my uh, next door neighbor's, my grandson, go kart. And it was kind of a small engine, kind of didn't have a lot of power, so. My son upgraded it to a bigger one and he brought this over and says here you can probably use this for something. So it's been sitting in the garage and I've been falling over it and I thought heck that little guy might be neat on a bike because it's got a built in wet clutch. And that's right in here. And this is electric start. And it didn't run real great either. I had to adjust the valves. Uh, the exhaust valve was loose and the intake valve was a little tight. Didn't have any clearance. And the uh, pull cord was in the box of parts that come with it. So I spent about an hour trying to figure that one out. There was a piece missing in it but I finally got her so she works. So what I wound up doing was, I took a, I had an, an old 12 inch pulley, I believe it was originally off a Maytag dryer, and it had a, another pulley here. Uh, this is die cast, this is uh, cast iron, so, and it's, this casting is right on here, so it's cast iron all the way through. So I bored that out. I think it was uh, a little over an inch and a quarter to fit on the ridge of this hub and I put six set screws small ones in it and I dimpled them right down into the casting so that seems to be on there we rode it a few miles and it seems to be staying tight real skinny belt that runs up here to a set of pillow blocks uh, belt tightener I think was off of a Cub Cadet lawnmower deck that was shot I saved and over on this side the shaft comes across and there's a sprocket and chain in here I made this guard because I could just see my shirt or coat tail or something getting wound up in that and inside that are on little kids you want to have some guards. And uh, how I mounted it all had this piece of, I don't know, probably an eighth inch plate. And of course I cut it with the uh, new freshly built plasma cutter track. It runs down here and attaches right here. And then there's a couple pieces of angle iron that come down here and attach right here where there was two holes which I assume was for some accessory for this bike. Now this bike never did work right. The 10 speed part of it. I'm thinking that the parts that guided the chain for when you switch gears just wasn't made out of heavy enough material. You never could keep the darn thing to stay in gear. I must have messed with it for, I don't know, hours trying to get it to, to work and it never did. So, And it sat outside in back of my building for about 10 years. So I was kind of surprised it was still any good at all. So what I did with that is I put this on the lowest speed, did away with all the gears. So you can still pedal it like a bike, but it's in the lowest speed and uh, starter solenoid, voltage regulator, fuse and all that stuff is in this box which is original to the go-kart and I made a little battery box and a friend of mine donated a little lithium-ion 12 volt battery which works great and I was able to convert this twist shift into the throttle and uh, doesn't return itself because so much drag on the cable 
tools. But as long as you return it, it seems to work fine. And this is the dash. You got your on and off switch, push to start. That's a kill switch, uh, along with turning off the key. So, there was no gas tank on it because the gas tank was on the uh, go kart. So, I had this little plastic gas tank, I think it was off an old Tecumseh engine. Was able to fabricate a bracket for it. And this bolts on underneath here. So, We'll fire it up and Aaron's going to take her for a ride, I think. Yes, I am. All right. Push the start button there, Aaron. Yeah, it's cold. Takes the process a bit. Put the kickstand up. Oh well. Oh, well, that doesn't work good. I haven't figured out how fast it goes yet. I'll have to get my GPS and put it in my pocket. See, I'm thinking it probably goes maybe 15 mile an hour. I didn't make it go fast. I'm not very good with a camera, am I? Hexa zoom button. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there we go. So you forgot to put the kickstand up. Oh. oh, did I? Yep. So that was uh, last week's project. So give me a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you like also. See you next time.